The Appalachian State Mountaineers fell to the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga Mocs on Saturday, November 2nd at Kid Brewer Stadium. This loss marks the first time App State's lost a home game in the month of November since 2002, breaking an 18-game streak. The opening drive by UTC was uneventful. In the ninth play of ASU's drive, true freshman running back Marcus Cox rushed the ball for 22 yards, bringing App into scoring position. On the next play, Cox rushed the ball again through the Mox defense, picking up four yards on the play and putting down six points on the board. Senior place kicker Drew Stewart completed the point after touchdown, and the score was 7-0 App State a little over five minutes into the first quarter. On the ensuing drive, UTC sophomore running back Kendricks Hewitt carried the ball 21 yards and into Appalachian territory. ASU freshman offensive linebacker Kenan Gilchrist blocked a pass intended for UTC running back Derek Crane. Chattanooga sophomore quarterback Jacob Huseman carried the ball for 18 yards. High risk was met with high return as the Mocs went for it on fourth down. Huseman rushing his way into the end zone, picking up a touchdown for the Mocs. Junior place kicker Nick Pollard brought in the PAT, and the score was 7-7 near the top of the second quarter. ASU launched a retaliation in the first play of their next drive with a 44-yard rush by Marcus Cox, who was finally brought down by Chattanooga's defensive back at their own 25-yard line. A turnover resulted from an incomplete pass from sophomore quarterback Cameron Bryant to senior wide receiver Tony Washington. With UTC backed in their end zone, Michael Frazier barely missed a tackle that would have brought down Derek Crane for a safety. Crane picked up 11 on the play. An Appalachian touchdown was imminent. Sophomore wide receiver Malachi Jones was brought down one yard short of the goal. Cox took it the extra yard two plays later, spinning around the UTC defense and into their end zone for Appalachian State's second touchdown. Stewart kicked in the PAT, bringing the score to 14-7, App State with less than two minutes remaining in the first half. Following ASU's first drive of the second half, the Mocs started out their offense with a 43-yard rush by quarterback Jacob Huseman, who was finally taken down by App freshman defensive back Alex Gray. Ten plays later, Crane found his way into the end zone with a one-yard rush, good for Chattanooga's second touchdown. Pollard kicked in the PAT, and the score was tied again, this time at 14-14, with eight minutes and 42 seconds left on the clock in the third quarter. ASU connected on a pass from Bryant to Jones for 23 yards that fell one yard short of the end zone. Cox may have been experiencing deja vu as he broke past the Mox defense yet again for his third touchdown of the game. Despite having to kick a further distance due to a penalty on App, Stewart nailed the PAT and the score is 21-14 App State with a little over five minutes left in the third quarter. Huseman started out Chattanooga's drive after next with the pass intended for wide receiver C.J. Board, intercepted by App sophomore defensive back Doug Middleton, giving ASU custody of the ball on their own 39-yard line. The Mocs faked a punt on the fourth down of the ensuing possession. Their place kicker picked up 17 yards on the play, good enough for a Chattanooga first down. Huseman connected with junior Terrell Robinson on a 31-yard pass to the end zone, bringing the Mocs their third touchdown. Pollard kicked in the extra point and the score was tied again, this time at 21 all at the top of the fourth quarter. After a weak drive by App, Huseman connected on a 29-yard pass with freshman wide receiver Xavier Borishade for the fourth touchdown for Chattanooga. Pollard kicked in the extra point and the Mocs took the lead by seven with a little over nine minutes left on the clock. But it wasn't yet over for App State. Sophomore wide receiver Boba Bayathard returned a 58-yard kickoff for 44 and guaranteed the Mountaineers good field position for their next drive. Bryant connected with Washington on an 18-yard pass, bringing App State to the Chattanooga 20-yard line. On the next play, Bryant found Washington in the end zone and landed a 20-yard pass just barely within bounds for another Appalachian touchdown. Stewart kicked in a successful PAT and the score is closely matched at 28-28 with roughly seven minutes left in the game. ASU's next drive was crippled by a hit from a Chattanooga defensive lineman that led to an interception by a freshman linebacker who brought the ball 28 yards back into ASU's end zone for the fifth and final touchdown for the Mocs. Pollard brought in the PAT giving the Mocs a seven point lead with only three minutes left in the game. It was do or die for App State. Following a 14-yard pass to McElfresh, Cox found a window of opportunity as he navigated around Chattanooga's defense and threw a referee before being brought down at the App 48 with a gain of 20. Bayathard caught a pass for 13 yards. And on the next play, Malachi Jones caught the ball for an extra 14, and the Mountaineers were within scoring position as the clock was winding down. After an incomplete third down pass to Peacock with less than a minute left, Cam went for it on fourth down but overshot his target with the pass to freshman tight end Barrett Burns. The Mocs took possession of the ball with 44 seconds left. 
After two knees by the Mox, the clock ran out and the game was over. The final score was Appalachian State 28, Chattanooga 35. The Mountaineers haven't lost to Chattanooga at home since 1983. With this win, Chattanooga moved into first place in the Southern Conference. The now 2-7 Mountaineers go on to face the 5-3 University of Georgia Bulldogs in Athens, Georgia at 12.30 p.m. on Saturday, November 9th.